sums to products. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove one of each, and you'll see the flavor of the menu. You'll be able to prove all the other ones. Okay. First one, I, the one I'll prove from the first paragraph will be the very first one there, and the technique will be to just work on one side. Uh, we'll work on the right hand side. Uh, we'll work with that. Notice at the bottom I've written sign A, sign B. That's what I should have by the by the end of the presentation here. Uh, we're going to work our way step by step with good logical reasoning until we get to sign A, sign B. Okay, first step. Uh, we know how to expand cosine of a difference of angles. We had that in the sum angle identity uh, paragraph. The fact that the first one's the mother of them all. And the second thing, the cosine of A plus B was expanded using the an identity in that same paragraph. That gives you that long thing. But um, it, it's not so long if you really look at it. A couple of these things clean up. Um, those two terms um, are the same, and one's a positive and one's a negative, so they're gone. That gives you just that, uh, half sine A sine B plus sine A sine B. Well, that's the same thing as saying a half two sine A sine Bs. And of course, a half times two will just give you sine A sine B. There you go, piece of cake. Um, you can prove every one of those on the right-hand side by a similar procedure. Just work on the right-hand side, expand those using the sum angle identities, clean it up, and you're done. You'll own them. Let's take one from the bottom, uh, from the sums to products. Um, I'm going to prove the very, very last one. And the technique would be to start with a known identity and just tweak it. In fact, I'm going to start with the one I just proved two seconds ago. That's the first one on the first paragraph. I'm going to make some clever substitution because I know where which part one I know and I know I know where I'm at and I know where I want to go. Uh, so I would make these substitutions called x a plus b over two and y a minus b over two. So wherever you see x, that gets replaced with a plus b over two. Wherever you see y, it gets replaced with a minus b over two. Notice these things inside the parentheses clean up nicely. That will give you a plus b minus a plus b, uh, which will give you uh, b, I believe, because the whole thing is over two. Similarly, this one cleans up nicely. That's equal to a. Um, when it's all said and done, it looks like this, which it, which already looks very much like uh, like the identity we want to prove. Multiply both sides by two, and the signs are switched. Because you see the sign on the identity says cosine a minus cosine b, and now it's just backwards. But no problem, that's an easy fix. We move things to the other side of the equality. And move the left side to the right side. And there you go. It's proven. Now let's go through these again. These are the this is the first page or the first column on the identity sheet. All these should be easy. You should know how to do every single one. All these are by definition. All these are by looking at the graphs or standing on different corners. This one you don't know yet. In fact, you won't know for for a while. Maybe maybe when you get to calculus two, you'll you'll see why this one is true. But it, it's a beautiful one. And one we'll use and come back to it later. These ones all can be proven by looking at the graphs, and these ones we all pr we proved before. Um, and that took us to the second column, mother of the mall by dropping that triangle, everything else by tweaking the mother of the mall, all this by tweaking the previous paragraph, and the ones we just got through. You should now be able to prove every single one on that famous sheet. You should own them. Okay. Uh, the the goal now is to move on to a second type of identities not these all these have been really really famous identities once we own these what we want to do is practice some more proving identities and we will practice on non-famous ones so these non-famous ones that we'll be doing next will not mean much other than just nice practice for proving identities okay and stop here and uh, make sure you can handle every single one in here and in the previous slide.